Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to compare the differences between shared hosting and VPS hosting. Now, if you go to our blog, NameHero.com slash startup, you can search for this post if it's not on top there. Um, but this is a common question that's asked amongst people um, that are checking out our website maybe for the first time. And they're wondering, you know, why we have our um, web hosting prices here, which are um, very, I guess you could say they're, they're very affordable for a monthly rate. And and then the VPS rates, why they, it jumps up so high. So I felt like a need to um, record a video to explain the differences between the two different um, types of packages and kind of um, what we designed each one of them for. So if you go to our blog and you find this post here, you can see I've typed a bunch of text. So if you um, would prefer to read versus watch this video, then you can kind of read through this. Now I do have another video and post where I compare um, reseller hosting to VPS hosting. Now that's geared to people that are web developers, WordPress developers, and other web hosts that are looking to resell hosting to their clients. In this comparison, I'm talking about more why an individual or a small business would use web hosting over VPS hosting. So let's talk really quick about shared hosting. Now at Name Hero, we, we refer to shared hosting as either just web hosting or as basic web hosting um, because that's what it is. It's, it's just very simply put, it's the basic web hosting um, for most, the majority of websites out there. And um, we've specifically optimized our platform for WordPress, Drupal, Jamula, which are the most popular content management systems out there currently. We've also designed these hosting packages for websites that get 1,000 visitors or less per day. So if you're getting more than that, then you would probably want to go to a VPS. But we'll talk about that here in just a second. So we have these three different packages. And let me head over here to the page so you can look at them. <clears throat> Now, without a doubt, pretty much 90% of the people coming to Name Hero, one of these packages will work to host their individual website. Um, I often use my father as an example. He owns a self storage facility, and you know, he probably reaches 10 visitors a day. And it's just customers that are researching um, self storage in his area, or it's current customers that are looking to pay their bills. So maybe 20 visitors a day, 20 to 30, I guess, is a little bit more than 10. Um, but for his website, any one of these packages is going to work best for him. He doesn't need to go spend um, hundreds of dollars on a VPS because these will work fine for his site. And that's most of the websites out there. And you know, unless you're specifically running an internet-based company or business or reaching a lot of visitors, then you, you can um, use one of these packages. Now, the main difference between these three packages is the disk space. Um, so those of you that, you know, if you're, the average WordPress site uses about 500 megabytes to one gigabytes of disk space. Now, if you're, um, you know, we have more than that because if you're going to have emails, if you're not using a third-party email provider, then you have to remember you need disk space to hold those emails as well as your MySQL databases and all that stuff. So that's the main difference. And um, also the difference is how many add-on domains we allow. The starter package here, it can only host one website. So it's only for those individuals that are looking to host one website. And that's why it's $3.89 a month. Now the plus package, which goes up um, in price, it allows you the ability to host unlimited websites. Now this doesn't mean this is not good for hosting your clients, relatives, friends. This is good for an individual use. So meaning if your company has three websites, well then you can host them all in this package. But it's not really recommended for tons and tons of web hosting domains. If you're going to do that, you want to go to a reseller account because everything's stored in one cPanel. So it can become a security concern. Me personally, I like to host every one of my websites in its own cPanel for security, for redundancy, and for all that good stuff. So me personally, if I'm hosting multiple sites, I'm going to go with the reseller package regardless. But anyways, our plus package is the most popular package because it at least has that flexibility. So you might not, you might just need web hosting for one website, but down the road, you might need another website set up. Maybe you're having another landing page or a special promotion for your business. Um, and we see that happen all the time. Some companies will set up a website um, to, for um, hiring. If they have a, um, you know, a job fair or something, they might set up another domain just for that specific purpose. So with the plus package, you always have that flexibility and that's why it's the most uh, popular package here at Name Hero for our web hosting customers. Finally, we have the business package, and this has been specifically designed for those individuals and businesses that are kind of in between. They're reaching more than 1,000 visitors a day, but they're not quite reaching 5,000 a day. 
So they don't want to go to a VPS, but they're too big for the shared or for the basic plus and the basic starter. So they get, that's why we designed the business package. It's kind of the in-between. Um, it also, if you go to my post here, you can see under the technical details, the business package has the ability to upgrade the physical memory as well as the inode limit. Um, so the physical memory on all of our, on our plus and starter package is two gigabytes. Uh, or one gigabytes with two gigabytes of virtual memory, sorry. So um, if you're running more than a thousand visitors, you're going to need more physical memory than that. So our basic business package allows you to go all the way up to four gigabytes of, of virtual mem or physical memory, which would be eight gigabytes in virtual memory. So because of that, um, we, we allow that upgrade because it's kind of that in-between and it allows you to get a lot more RAM without incurring the cost of a VPS. So that's, that's the difference between those. Now, um, you know, if, you, if your website is mid-sized, maybe you're reaching five, 600 visitors a day and you know you might be growing, you might as well start off with the basic business um, and, and try it out. Then you can always go to a VPS if you need it. So that's, that's why we have those three packages and that's the differences. And oh, it is important too to remember the inode usage. On the basic business, we can upgrade this to 250,000 soft limit and 500,000 files for the hard limit. So we often see customers that reach this limit using the um, plus or starter package, and then we'll just upgrade them to the, to the business package. It's an easy upgrade, and it allows them to have more files if they don't want to delete or clear off any, um, if they can't delete or clear off any files on their site. So now let's, and since now we kind of know what web hosting's for and the type of um, websites it's used for, it's important to note that all of these include a free domain if paid yearly or more um, or for the first year's registration, which is a big savings because that's, you know, at least $12 that you're going to save right there. But let's talk now about our VPS hosting. These have specifically been designed for individuals and businesses that need a little bit more juice. They need more power. Um, your website might reach 5,000 visitors or more a day. Um, you might have a specific piece of software or application that requires customization of the operating system, which we see with a lot of startups and app developers out there. You know, they need specific pieces of software installed on the server for their app to function. So with our VPSs, they have full root access and they can do as they please on those. And we will even help, um, you know, if need be. So for example, we have a lot of people that like to develop in Ruby on Rails. Well, the shared host, there's only so much Ruby packages that we can install on the server before you have to have your own server to do that. Um, and there's also some some custom pieces of software that require some very um, different database structures and database configurations, um, which can be done right inside of your, your VPS. So let's go over here. And I talk about this, the main difference between all four of these is the disk space the RAM, and the CPU cores. So let's talk about those really quick. So the disk space, we know, just like the shared hosting, um, that if you have a lot of media files, a lot of emails, um, you're going to need more disk space. Also with the VPS, if you want to back up your server on the server, you're going to need more disk space. So I typically like to, to recommend the four gigabyte, the two gigabyte server, the Hero two gigabyte. This is really for developers. Um, it's not really good for production usage because 30 gigabytes of space and two gigabytes of RAM is really not that much. Um, I did want an entry level server though for those developing that needed um, extreme customization. It's good for that. It's good for development. It's good for just getting started. But if you're getting you know, some traffic, you need to at least go with four gigabytes. That's the most popular VPS that we have um, with the six, Hero 6 gigabyte right behind it. So these two servers are our most popular VPSs. High traffic sites, they like the eight gigabytes, and, and then we can go even further than that if need be. Um, but these two are the most popular, and it is because of the disk space and the RAM. So the more RAM you have, the faster your site's going to go. Again, two gigabytes of RAM is just not that much. I mean, this is what you're limited to on our um, shared hosting. So if you're really too big for shared hosting, you're really not going to fit in too well for this um, two gigabytes of RAM. Again, we made this for specifically for developers, um, startups that you know don't want a lot of costs, but um, you know, trying to get their app out and they need to see what's going to work before they scale up. Now, the good thing about Name Hero is all of these VPSs, virtual private servers, are on our high speed cloud. So that means when you're developing, you can develop on the two gigabytes. Maybe it's going to take you a month to finish your app. 
Well, then when you're ready to go to production, you just click a button in the interface and you can scale up to the four gigabytes. Then you can scale up to the six gigabytes and you can scale up to the eight gigabytes. So we allow you that flexibility uh, to scale up on demand. I mentioned in my post too that some websites are seasonal websites, meaning that during the holiday shopping season, Black Friday, Christmas time, they need a lot more power because they're getting a lot more visitors. So you, they can actually scale up to make sure they're serving these visitors with more RAM and then scale back down when the holiday season is over. So that's a really um, big bonus for our um, VPS hosting customers. Uh, CPU cores, um, that's actually the processing power, the processing cores, and that's why four CPU cores is the main difference between the four and six, other than the increase in disk space and RAM, um, is really gives you that extra, those extra cores to process the visitors, to process the database calls. Um, so, you know, if you know you're, you're going to be, you're going to be meeting demands, you might want to just start off with the six gigabyte. But as I said, you can scale up on demand, so that's not a, a huge issue. Um, so basically put, um, and I've got an image out of place, ignore that, but what solution is best for you? Most customers, they know. You know, most customers that come to us at Name Hero, they know if their website's going to work on, a, on the basic hosting or VPS. They already have an idea. Um, but those that are new, they might not, and that's why we're available to answer any questions. Um, we see a lot of affiliate marketers. They'll go with our VPS hosting because we see a lot of affiliates. They need um, the ability to have a lot of RAM, whether they're, they're using click tracking software um, or certain landing pages. And they also need the ability to have dedicated root access. It's important for affiliate marketers, especially since um, a lot of their um, assets are just the data they have. So they want a root, ser root access server to where they just have access and it's not shared with anyone else. So we understand that and, and that's another reason why we develop these packages. Those are the differences though. Um, most people go with the web hosting. If you need to upgrade, you can always upgrade later on and we will migrate everything over for you, make it really simple. Um, if you know you need a VPS, get started with us and then you can of course scale up and down inside of the interface. So if you have any further questions, feel free to let us know. We'd be more than happy to help you out. We can tailor um, custom stuff to you. Um, you know, we can help you set up your VPS and make sure you have all your software. All of these though have free DDoS protection, cPanel, SSL, all the good features that you need. If you want to utilize Lightspeed or Maria database, then um, we can add those on as well. So just let us know if you have any questions, but besides that, thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for using NameHero.com.